Hello everyone, I'm Adam Arneson, and I'm a product manager here at NI, which is now the test and measurement business group within Emerson. Today I'll be showing you how you can quickly query for and visualize your parametric test data using SystemLink Enterprise. Being able to quickly understand trends and outliers in your parametric test data, and then to be able to quickly and easily discuss, share, and collaborate on that data is key to the daily work of a test or validation engineer. In this demo, we will look at some recent test data from our product, visualize it in some charts, and then engage with others on our team to understand what next steps may need to be taken in relation to the data. Let's dive in. Here we are on the SystemLink Enterprise homepage. For today, we're going to start by looking at a product view. So in our navigation pane, we'll first go to products. Here I see a list of products that are filtered by their product family, which in this case is the Defiant class, and I have two different part numbers or products under this particular family, the NX74205 and a BDC version of the same product. Today we're going to look at the NX74205 product. If I click on this, I'm taken to a list of recent test results from this specific part number, and I can see in this table different information about each test run, whether it passed or not, what workspace it's in, what system it ran on, and other information. I can quickly group these test results by program name so that I can see the different categories. Today we're going to focus on this NAV34 test program, but you'll see that there's three other tests in here as well. If I open up the NAV34 group, I can click on this first test result and get some more information about it. In the top bar, I'll see more information and metadata around this result, when it ran, its part number, and workspace. And then in the bottom table, I see a list of test steps that are associated with this test result. What we're going to do is we're going to visualize all of the different test steps from this test to see if we can find any issues. So I'll click on this context menu and say visualize steps. This takes me to a new view called a data space. And in this case, I have a new untitled data space. The data space is first uses a filter to determine which data to look at. In this case, we've automatically populated this filter with the part number equal to the part number we started with, the test program of NAV34, the path to our step, as well as the specific values of the different conditions under which that test was run. When I run the query, it will gather information from the server and allow me to plot it. So let's add some data to our chart. On X, let's select time so we can see the trend of our tests over time. And then on Y, let's just quickly select all the different measurements from our particular test step. So I'll select these measurements and hit close. And right away, we see a scatter chart of each of these different measurements across the time that they are run. Now, it might be more helpful in this case if we use a line chart so we can see if there's any deviations from normal. So let's change to line. And right away, we see there's a problem here with this blue trace. And what is this one? This is something about deflector Borg power on a serial number with an operator. Okay, let's see if we can narrow down this a little bit more. Let's show on the side here some distributions of the data. And let's use a histogram. So here we see a histogram of the data. And again, we see this blue trace is far out of bounds. So let's see if we can narrow down this data. Let's go back to our data. We're going to remove all the other different measurements and only keep the one that looked problematic, this deflector board power. And sure enough, we see that there's a strange distribution here. Now, I have a suspicion that this might be bad, maybe not just in this particular condition set, but maybe more broadly. So let's go back to our query builder and remove some of the conditions that we queried on here. Let's remove all these conditions and rerun our query. Now what will happen is we're going to pull all of the data for this test program that matches this test step under this product. So now we've expanded the search range and pulled in more data very quickly into our visualization. And sure enough, you can see that there's a problem right here in this area, and you get this bimodal distribution. If we switch back to scatter, you can see this a little better. Some points up here, the vast majority down here. Let's change the type of plot here and see if we can get a better view of the distribution of this data. I'm going to go ahead and change this to a box plot and then remove the x-axis as time. So we just see the statistical distribution of this data. So now I see my measurement, this deflector board power, and its distribution. And sure enough, the vast majority are focused down here and some outliers up here. 
Let's try to split this data in a few ways to see if we can figure out why this data up here is having a problem. So we will go to our color by settings here and change this result metadata split by to look at it by operator. Now I can see that I've colored my measurements by the different operators, and it looks like the operator Kirk is the one that has some problems. Let's see if we can figure out in which situations we're having issues. Let's add a few more splits. Let's split by serial number and maybe by system. And sure enough, here we see that we have a big outlier in this case, where we have the deflector Borg power measurement with Kirk on D18 serial number on the tractor beam system. If I switch this now to the histogram view, I can even get a more detailed view of this distribution. I'm going to switch to histogram view and resume to the normal view. And sure enough, here on the right, I can see this brown trace, which is this Kirk D18 tractor beam setting. Now that I have the visualization set up the way I want, so that I can see the outliers for this particular measurement, I'd like to talk with my team about this issue. So I can save this information as a data space. Let's call this the Borg issue, and we'll make sure we save it in the right workspace so that we only share it with the team members that we want to have access. Once I've saved this, I now have a dedicated link that I can use to share with my team. I can also go over here to the comment section and at mention someone who I might need to ask questions about. So I have a teammate named TJ. I say, hey, TJ, I have some questions. And once I hit OK, this will send TJ an email and give him an opportunity to come back and respond. I can always share and save this data space as well as save a copy of it for later so that I can apply new information to this particular data space. There are a few other key ways of quickly getting to visualization that I'd like to show. From a table of results like I have here under my product, I can multiple select some results and quickly hit visualize. This takes me to a plot where I can quickly again add information and visualize my data. In addition, if I go back to my list of results under my product, I can go to a single test result and under a particular measurement, I can visualize this measurement in two different ways. I can either visualize this measurement, in which case I will see this measurement under this specific set of conditions across all tests, or I can visualize this measurement for all steps in this test. In this case, this allows me to see this measurement across multiple condition sets. So if I look again for my Borg power measurement, I can quickly go and visualize this measurement for all steps. And again, I quickly get back to the same visualization I had before, where I can see the distribution of my data, which I can then split by my different operators and serial numbers to quickly get back to the visualization that I had before. To recap, in this demo, we have showed how you can use System Link Enterprise to quickly understand trends and outliers in our test data, and to quickly and easily discuss, share, and collaborate on that data. We looked at some recent test data from a product, visualized it in some charts and graphs, and then engaged with others on our team to understand what the next steps were. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe so you can be notified when we post future videos. In addition, there's a link in the description to the System Link forums where you can engage with us directly. Thank you.